All right, hey sports fans, we're here with Coach Greg Franklin of the Chipola Lady Indians, and we're coming off a few big wins this weekend, Coach. We've had a couple. How are you doing, Doctor? Good. Frank? How are you getting along? Good to see. You. All right. A little chilly after your hands. It, are man, cold. it's like Chicago <laughs> now, outside. So it's it's a good time to be a basketball coach because that all happens indoors. So, uh, so tell us about what happened this weekend. I know we had a. We picked up a couple good wins. I mean, against a, a couple of good talented teams. Palm Beach. Uh, I said this. Uh, the other day on phone call with one of the coaches in our league, I said, they're, they're going to beat some people. Uh -huh. They got a lot of talent. Right. And they really do. Um, we came out, we played pretty good right off the bat and got a good lead and, you know, we kind of held on to it. Uh huh. That's with good. Those, with those young puppies, but they're, they're figuring some stuff out. You know, it's going to take a little while. And mm -hmm. I said, you know, our best, everybody says your best basketball is in your future. Well, it really is with these guys because they're, they're really figuring out how hard to play, uh, the tempo, the speed. Um, you know, when the other teams are getting tired, that's when it should be. You know, we just get right right, right. then. So we're having to figure that out uh, to be able to, to take teams out, yeah. out of play. Yeah. So I know it's early. We've only played five games, but we have won them all. Um, are you pleased with the, the progress that you've seen thus far? You know, I said this, this yesterday to my two assistants. I said, this is the best practice we've had all year long. Man. Yesterday was best practice uh -huh. in terms of attention to details. Now, right. some kids had a lull, and, but you're going to expect that with a young team. But, uh, you know, I thought it was very detail-oriented mm -hmm. by those guys That's great. yesterday. And, yeah, I was pleased with it. That's great. Now, um, I know this weekend we're headed down to Daytona. Uh, who, who are we going to play in Daytona? Play Daytona Friday night, and we play uh, Trinity JV out of uh, Tampa. Okay. That's the first I heard of yeah. that school, but, you know, that's who we got Saturday. And Daytona's always in the mix. They da always da have a great squad. Yeah, Daytona's really talented. Yeah. And you're playing them at their place with a bunch of young puppies. So uh -huh. We're going to have to figure some stuff out yeah, quick. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um and, and, Coach, I can't believe it, but we're already talking about Thanksgiving. I mean, November has just flown by. Um, do, do our girls get to – do they get a few days off for Thanksgiving, or how does that work? We won't. We'll be traveling down south, okay. down to Miami. We'll play Broward. We'll play ASA. We'll uh -huh. play Miami. During that turn, uh, you know, they, we, we have uh, some people that fix us Thanksgiving dinner here right. for our kids. Uh, which is really, really nice. Uh -huh. It's really, really good. I've yeah, doing, I bet it I've is. I've been doing it for seven years. Wow. I've gained about yeah. 25 yeah, pounds I guess since so. I've been here. Yeah. So. Well, and again, we do have so much community support for the team, yes. which is which is really, really important. Uh, Coach, I want to talk to you about something else, uh, something personal that's happened. I, I got this on our uh, media monitoring service the other day that you're about to be inducted into the <laughs> Muhlenberg County Athletic Hall of Fame. Yeah. So, so tell us about that and when that's going to happen. That'll be Saturday, and like I said, I was going to miss Saturday's game. Um, I feel comfortable with our staff taking care of things uh -huh. in that particular game. Uh, it's an honor. I mean, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of really good athletes come out of Muhlenberg County. Mm -hmm. uh, just to be thought of as one of them is just an honor and a privilege. Um, now, know. now, what state is Muhlenberg County in? Kentucky. Kentucky. All right. We were just talking <clears throat> about John Prine. John Prine, absolutely, because that's that's. Muhlenberg County is mentioned in a, a very famous song um, called Paradise yep. uh, that John Prine wrote, mm -hmm. gosh, probably in the late 60s, early 70s. And uh, Paradise so, coal mines was in my backyard. Is that right? It used to wake up to uh -huh. them blasting and our house would shake. Oh, my and we gracious. we had cracks in our basement. And uh -huh. it, was, uh, it was surreal. I mean, you look out and you can see the big shovel uh -huh. moving. It was it, it was pretty so cool, were, but also scary. A you are bit, from yeah. coal country. Oh yeah, Golly, oh yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I've had a lot of my relatives were coal miners. Uh, you learn some things, the roofers and all the different things that uh -huh. are in there, and the ones that go in first and try to open up the holes. It's the most dangerous, but they got paid. Oh, I bet they got paid. Okay. Yeah, but. that's cool. Um, and th I noticed there were like seven or eight people. Uh, or teams being inducted. Do you know any of those other people who are, who are being inducted this year? Yeah, I do. I, I know several of those, and I'm not familiar with. I'm familiar with the team, the one team, the Muhlenberg County North, Muhlenberg North team. A lot of those players were were uh, up and coming when uh -huh. I was I was a senior, junior, senior, and they were junior high. And you know, it, it, it's cool to see that team did so well. Right. Um, 
you know, so some of those guys have gone on and done some successful things. Uh -huh. so. And so you played at Central City High School, yep. and then from there you went on to Austin P. Is Austin that where you P. played college ball? I okay. played at Austin P. Um, you know, when I was coming out of high school, Austin P. had just went to the Elite Eight. Wow. Uh, that's when uh, Patino was at Providence. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, I walked in the door and I thought, you know, it's 45, 50 minutes away from my house. Uh -huh. uh, Man. And my dad basically told me that's where you're going, son. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, that's great. But it was it was a good time to be at the P. Uh -huh. um, you know, I had a lot of great memories there. I'm still so fond of the program and keep up with them. And, yeah. You know, both programs are doing well. Right? Now, I know you were a great player, uh, obviously. My but opinion. Um, I, I have a feeling that uh, – many of the reasons that you're being inducted into this is because of your coaching career. And, you know, I don't, I don't want to talk about your entire coaching career, but if you could, if you could boil down a few things that you're most proud of over the, over your, how, how many years have you been coaching? It's about 26, 27 years. Good gracious, man. Yeah. That's incredible. Yeah. Uh, but what are, what are some of the highlights from? You know, I, when I was in Illinois, we had some great teams and top Top ten, top five. We didn't lose a game in the state of Illinois for four years. Man. Four years. Uh, won four straight uh, state titles, region titles. Uh, went to the final four. Uh, coming here, you know, when I was in Mississippi State, we went to the Sweet 16. We had three kids get drafted uh -huh. more than anybody else in the first round. Uh, two of those played for me when I was at Illinois at Southeastern Illinois Community College, and they went on to have pretty good pro careers, uh -huh. playing overseas and things like that. And then coming here, I mean, I was – I was this job has made me more excited about basketball than any job I've ever had. I said this is the best job I've ever had because the people make it uh -huh. great. Right. I mean, we have so much support and excitement, and we're able to recruit who we want, when we want, where we want. Yeah. Um, and that just makes it – so much the joy winning a national championship in 2015, uh, going to two straight Final Fours, you know, having players that played for us here get get drafted in the first round of the WNBA. I've mm -hmm. had four first round draft picks in the WNBA that played for me in junior college, man, in JUCO. That's incredible. Um, so I, I've I've been fortunate. I've had some really great players to make me look really good. Yeah, that's great. And that's <laughs> that's the idea, right? Yeah. See, you make me look good on yeah, camera, right? A, now. Absolutely. The talent has showed there, up. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, Coach, we're we're very proud of you uh, for that honor, and um, we know you're great. But it's nice that somebody else has recognized that, and <laughs> and I'm I'm happy that you're going to be uh, honored in your in your home county. That's that's I appreciate fantastic. That, Dr. Craig. All right, Coach. Well, uh, good luck in Daytona, and have fun at your induction ceremony. Thank you, sir. Appreciate Thanks. it, Dr. Craven.